it's time to meet our first contestant. She comes from the Philippines. My name is Katerina Rodriguez, Miss World Philippines 2018. I was born a farm girl, growing up playing in the vast fields of my province, Davao, where I'd climb trees, ride the horses, and carabaos. However, I have a tropical state of mind. As an island girl, I thrive near the ocean, surfing, swimming, and running along the shorelines. Living with my paternal grandparents has played a huge influence in my life. My grandfather has taught me strength, the feeling of ambition, and the conscious awareness of passion. And if my grandfather has shaped my mind, then my grandmother has molded my heart. She's the imagination, the creativity, all things colorful, sparking my love for reading and drawing, teaching me that in the long term, the books I read are far more important than the man I marry. This opportunity to represent my beloved country in the Miss World pageant is the adventure of a lifetime. I cannot wait to meet the other candidates in China and to expand the potentials of the Philippines to the rest of the world. Philippines, tell us some more about your love for your grandparents. My grandparents are my heart. They're my, they are my world. I've been living with them for the past few years. These are my paternal grandparents and they're very eccentric people. So they've been married for over 50 years, but they're the only couple I've ever seen fight while holding hands at the same time. They cannot stand each other, but you know, like my grandfather, if he's holding a chair open for my grandmother, he'll pinch her butt as she sits down. They're really <laughs> funny. And they're people of this world. They've lived such full lives, maybe like enough for th to fill three lifetimes. Um, but we have a very great bond, my grandparents and I. And, um, you know, one thing when you do pageants, you sacrifice a lot of stuff, like whether it be time with your friends or, you know, going to parties, going out, maybe it might be education. <laughs> So I think the thing that affects me most is that I have to sacrifice my time spending with them. Um, every day they teach me so much and they're so supportive of me, but about a few months ago my grandfather had a stroke, he had a mild stroke, and that's when I realized how short life is. And um, I do get emotional about it because he's such a strong man, and up until a few years ago he would run with me. We'd go jogging on the treadmill outside, and. When he had his stroke, I thought, okay, there's a time that I have to spend with them. And at 26 years old, this is my peak in life and my, my career. So it's, do I spend time with my grandparents or do I excel um, in what I'm doing? And I know he wants me to excel in what I'm doing. So um, I love him that much that he tells me, no, go do what you want to do, regardless if I want to eat chocolates with him or play chess with him. And I'm lactose intolerant, but he likes eating chocolates with me <laughs> and ice cream, so I do that with him. Thank you, Philippines. That's very sweet. Thank you. I think we have to say hello to your grandparents. Hi, <laughs> Momsie and Grandpa. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. 